We are now several generations deep into a generation of people who reward themselves for doing the bare minimum. Hey, you, you, you lost the game, but you didn't cheat. You're a champ in my book, only you're not. Treat yourself, you've earned it. Only a lot of the time you haven't. My club's for closers. So I wanted to talk about, I was actually um, taken with something that an athlete said recently. The guy's name is Anthony Smith. Uh, he lost to John Jones recently in a title bid. Pretty one-sided. Um, really one-sided. He did not perform well. But he uh, could have possibly found an out because he suffered an illegal knee while he was on the ground. So if he'd have opted to, he could have actually uh, claimed that he wouldn't have been able to continue and he would have won on disqualification. And by winning, by the way, that means including the belt, the win bonus, the pay-per-view percentages that come with being a champion, everything. Really big deal. But he didn't. And when he was asked why, he said, uh, I have a quote right here, he said, that's the part that pisses me off. This world is so crazy. I don't need a pat on the back for doing the right thing. It's like when you see people saying, oh my God, look at how good of a dad he is. You're supposed to be involved in your children's life. You're supposed to take care of your kids. You're supposed to love your wife. And oh my God, is that a rarity today? To not only do the right thing, but to do it without demanding that everyone recognize you do the right thing. And I know it's become a tired cliche. I want to talk about it, but I want to talk about more than just bitching about participation trophies here. I know that's been done on a bunch of the conservative, eh, participation trophy. No, that's not what we're talking about. It's a little bit what we're talking about. The fact does remain that we are now several generations deep uh, into a generation of people who reward themselves for doing the bare minimum. The bar is set so low that passable is lauded with praise. Hey, you, you, you lost the game, but you didn't cheat. You're a champ in my book, only you're not. Hey, you could have had an affair, uh, but you chose not to. That makes you A-OK. -okay. No, it means you've passed the bare minimum requirements as per your contractual marriage agreement as a husband. Wow, you got the kids ready for school and prepared them lunch and you picked them up? You're like super mom. No, you're just a mom. Treat yourself, you've earned it. Only a lot of the time you haven't. And I'm not saying, by the way, that you shouldn't enjoy life, that you shouldn't celebrate the small victories. What I'm talking about here, and I've noticed particularly with my generation, that's largely what I'm speaking to, maybe those below it, is the low expectations that we set on ourselves. It's one thing for society to do it, to namely sell books and t-shirts and people to make the interview rounds, wanting to make everyone feel good about themselves. But you know, you know why it doesn't work? You know why we still have staggeringly high rates of depression, of low self-esteem, anxiety, depending on who you ask, it's worse than ever? Because you can't lie to yourself. And I've talked about this in a previous closing segment. The most toxic lies that we tell in our lifetimes are the ones that we tell ourselves. You can try and do it for a while, but you can't do it every day and feel good about yourself. And there are some exceptions uh, to this rule, by the way, that I'm talking about today. There are some people who set expectations way too high on themselves, and I know some people like that. As an employer, I've had to learn how to manage people. This, this message isn't for you, but the vast majority of people, the rule, rather than the exception, most of you today have severely, chronically low expectations of yourselves, criminally so. And many of you attempt to lie to yourselves, pat yourselves on the back for doing the bare minimum, celebrating it as though it's excellence. And you know what? It will destroy your life. It's a waste of life. Oh, you provided for your family? Who cares? You're supposed to. You and every other man since the beginning of time who wasn't a screw up. What else are you going to do with your gifts? Oh, you, you had the choice, you had this chance to, I don't know, exploit someone or something, but you chose to do the right thing. No one should expect any different. What else you got? See, the point is when you celebrate these bare minimums as victories, the real victories ring hollow. And if you get into a pattern of this, and I've seen it long enough, you spend so much time celebrating, praising, basking in the glow of meeting these bare minimum requirements that you don't have the time or the focus or the desire to do more. And you will find yourself with a life unfulfilled. And even that can become... Um, an even more corrosive pattern, because when you come to the realization that you've never fulfilled your potential, you become resentful. And you've lied to yourself for so long that your bare minimum meeting the requirements uh, in your life was worthy of congratulatory praise, that now this, this emptiness, this void, well, it, 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 must be, it must be due to someone else, right? You've done everything expected of you, right? So someone else needs to make it right. And it, it all starts with something as simple as expectations. It all starts with expectations of yourself. And so I want you to think about this for a second, okay? Pause this if you need to. 
You know your talents, you know your gifts, your desires, your abilities. Taking all of that into account, what expectations have you set for yourself? I don't give a rat's ass about the gold stars, the participation trophies, or how proud other people say they are of you. It could not be less relevant. You know who you are. You know why you were created. What can you do? Have you, have you sit down, laid out a plan, charted a path to fulfilling your true potential? Or have you been not only okay with achieving the bare minimum, and let's not even call this the bare minimum, let's call it um, sort of these general expectations for yourself. Have you been not only okay with it, but celebratory? Now, if not, then this is not for you. But if in your quiet time, alone with your thoughts, you come to terms with, as many of us do, myself at many moments included, that you have not fulfilled your potential, it sounds silly, a lot of the time it comes down to something as simple as the low expectations you've set for yourself. The world wants to tell you that you're perfect the way you are. You're not. The world wants to give you a gold sticker for the bare minimum. And guess what? The world is largely filled with mediocre people and mediocre results. And by the way, that applies to personal happiness and fulfillment. You do it the world's way, you get the results of the rest of the world. Don't let the claws of low expectations get a hold of you. Set a plan, list your gratitudes, be grateful, list your gifts, Chart a course, set expectations of yourself, and meet them every day, every single day. Let me know how it works out for you. Hey there, if you like this video, this is the part where I would usually tell you to subscribe, but... I can't do it anymore. I'm going to tell you to subscribe, and then YouTube is going to decide that we can't reach you even though you subscribe to this channel, and then I'll say hit the notification bell, and then the notification bell won't even be there anymore. I don't know what to say. More than likely you'll find my face in a milk carton. But do what you can to stop it. It's just, it's just, it probably won't do much.